hours at six, an Indianapolis woman is dead after traveling to the Dominican Republic for plastic surgery. It is a growing trend. U.S. citizens leaving the country to get those procedures. And WRTV's Adam Shumes and photojournalist Paul Chiodo have been working this week to try to find out what went wrong in the Dominican Republic. Hey there, besties. Thank you for stopping by. I am Michonne Denise, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at this uh, young lady who traveled to the Dominican Republic to get a BBL, and all of a sudden it didn't work out, and now she's deceased. And what I just don't get and understand outside of why everyone thinks they need to get it is why is it that people feel as though they need to go to another country to do this? All of the major cities have doctors. All of the smaller cities have doctors. Why is it that everyone seems to want to go to the Dominican Republic? Why? You telling me that they can't go to Dr. Miami? You can't go to Mr. Dubrow in um, California, the one that Wendy Williams went to in Philadelphia. Why are black people constantly going to the Dominican Republic for a cheaper surgery? If you cannot afford to do it, then you should not be doing it. Sheree Terry reflects on the life of her twin sister. And she went to go get her body done in a DR and she never, never made it back. Shakari Terry was a mother to a two-year-old and the proud owner of the Mini Blessings in Paradise Daycare. And me and my sister had a type of relationship where we could get into it one minute. And then right after that, we'll be back friends and talking. So I knew someone, right? I felt it in my heart. All right. So obviously they not young. I'm not trying to be rude or anything. But if this woman had a child, this woman had a business, you're telling me that you didn't have enough funds health insurance opportunity to do this here in the United States of you're telling me that you still had to go the cheaper route. Cause let's not get it twisted. Ain't nothing happening in the Dominican any better than what's happening in the United States. It's just quote unquote cheaper. But if cheaper means that you ain't going to make it back to see another day, then is it really worth it? This wasn't Shikari's first surgery this year. She posted on her Facebook back in February that she got surgery. Her family says it was a gastric sleeve surgery that she got in Mexico. Just a few months. The last place I'd be going to get anything done also is Mexico. Come on, y'all. Why are we doing this? There is no reason on God. Once you add up the cost of the surgery, the hotel stays, and the plane trip, you're trying to tell me that that's cheaper than just going ahead and doing it down the street at your local hospital or your local doctor. You telling me that you can't go and talk to at least three different surgeons, get some referrals and then pick one. You telling me that they don't have payment plans. Really? Months later on April 11th, her family says Shikari went with her friend Carlisha Williams to the Dominican Republic. So she definitely was healthy. Everything went wrong. It happened there. They both had surgery for a Brazilian butt lift and a tummy tuck. They say the surgery was performed by Dr. Jose Desenia, seen here before the surgery. But after she called me Thursday night, she just went right. The second day into recovery, which was Friday, um, the 15th, uh, Shakori was, I was, you know, moving around a lot more. And Shakori, I was still in pain, but I was moving around. Shakori wasn't really moving around. She wasn't doing nothing. She was laying in bed. I will go in there. So if both of them went to the same doctor and got the same surgery, and then they both were at the same place and something happened to one and not the other, can you really blame the doctor for this? Because I'm pretty sure that's where this is going. How is it that the same doctor in the same place at the same time did the same thing and only something was wrong with one and nothing wrong with the other? That doctor also don't know your uh, medical history, what's going on, what you can take, what you can't take. He's just going to have to trust you. How do you know that he's giving you legal medicine in a foreign country? What they can do there, they may not be able to do here. We got to stop doing this. We have to stop going here. Like if you, if you got to be cheap about it, then you shouldn't be doing it. I try to get her out the bed, try to get her to come downstairs and eat with me. And she just wasn't responding well. Carlisha says Shikari was moved from their recovery house and admitted to a clinic in Santiago. When we go in there and I see Shikari, I almost fell out. 
like literally like she was on all these machines she was unresponsive and she wasn't talking wasn't alert eyes closed she's unresponsive carlisha williams was told that shikari was okay her kidneys were do that does not look like a person that's okay that person looked like they are drunk out of it or something this is crazy so we stood up here and we took um video this is crazy look at this I don't want it that if it, if it has to be like this, I understand that there should be some pain and something like this after effects or whatever, but this woman looks so out of it. If you're trying to tell me that the other woman was pretty much able to get around and this woman couldn't even talk. Carlisha says, Dr. Desenia said she was only sedated. So I'm like, so if you unhook that, you know, she'll be able to breathe and stuff like that on her. He was like, oh yeah, yeah. She's perfectly fine. Like, you know, body just needs rest. Carlisha says she went back to see Shikari the next day and a different doctor was there. According to Carlisha, that doctor told her Shikari was having a hard time breathing on her own. From a BBL, Brazilian butt lift, from a BBL, you can't breathe? Y'all, stop doing this. Jeez. But 20 minutes later, she says Dr. Desenia came in and told her Shikari was getting better and just needed dialysis. Dialysis? Going. She just needed dialysis. Does this girl even know what that means? If, if they're both down here and this woman right here that's speaking can't even get the chance to talk to this woman after two to three days, that's a problem. For a BBL, you should be able to wake up and at least be able to be alert and talk, even if your ass can't move. Come on now. And then the doctor's like, oh, it's fine. Oh, she just needs dialysis. What? Do they even know what they signed when they went down there? Do they know what they put their um, signature on when it comes to doing this surgery? Was it written in English? Or did you just sign it because you're too busy trying to look like somebody? And when it doesn't matter at the end of the day, you're in a foreign effing country. What really are you going to do? No, but I'm trying not to scare them. But at this point, I want to scream, like, get down here. Like, you know. When Shikari's mom arrived about a week after the surgery, Carlisha says the doctors continue to say that Shikari just needed rest. A week later, this woman still is unresponsive. She just needs rest from her butt. It was her butt. I mean, I know they take it out of the stomach too, I guess. I think they said that, but still. And they were told to leave. Carlisha was set to come back to Indiana the next day. Her mother's talking to her. Her mother, uh, basically, she tells me, like, Carlisha, I don't believe my daughter is alive. She was like, I know my daughter isn't alive. Why won't they tell me? By the time she got to Indiana, Carlisha said that she was notified that Shikari had passed away. So she was like, Carlisha, I went back to uh, my room. She was like, I was probably there for about an hour. She was like, they called me and told me Shikari's heart stopped. Just mm -hmm. that quick. I said, huh? She said, as soon as she went in, she said her daughter was already in a body bag that quick. Mm -hmm. Sheree and Carlisha say they just want answers. I reached out to the State Department. They said they can confirm the death of a U.S. citizen in the Dominican Republic, and they're providing all appropriate assistance to the family. Exactly. What more can you do? So now, listen, rest in peace to this woman, y'all. I am not uncaring at all. I'm really not. But what I'm over are these people trying to take shortcuts for things that you don't take short. Listen, you want to save some money? Get store brand mayonnaise. It's nasty, but listen, cut corners there. We don't go and cut corners on our bodies when we're getting surgery and it requires gas, utensils, opening up of your body, blood. No, you don't take shortcuts on that. Aren't we supposed to, when something is wrong with us, get an opinion and a second opinion? Aren't we supposed to investigate? Aren't we supposed to make sure that we get the best care possible? Not cheap, the best care possible. Where has that gotten lost? Do you think that Kim Kardashian, Lala, uh, all these other biatches are going to the Dominican Republic to get cheap surgeries? They write in Beverly Damn Hills. So why aren't more people going there? That Dubrow man will do it. Instead of always fixing people, him and his uh, his partner will definitely go ahead and do the job initially and you'll have a better chance. And God forbid if something should happen, you are right here in the United States of, which is going to be a lot easier to get things taken care of 
than trying to go to a foreign country to try to get information from them. Do you really think that the people over in another country give a damn about the United States? You think that they're going to be all forth forthcoming? Mexico even? Keep fighting. We will not stop at all. Shakur was a very important person. Working for you, Adam Shooms, WR TV. Well, we have made numerous attempts to contact Dr. Jose de Senya in the Dominican Republic. He has not responded to any of our requests. This is this is getting to be too much, y'all. I don't know, y'all. This is crazy to me. I don't I don't get it. Please stop going to foreign countries in order to get uh, surgeries um, taken care of. Just find a travel to another state in the United States. Travel to California if you're on the East Coast. If you're on the West Coast, travel to the East Coast. Go to Dr. Miami, at least. Go to someone that you know. You watching all these daggone shows on TV, go there to those things. When are we going to learn? Cheap is not always the way. Cheap is not always the way. It doesn't mean that it's better just because it's cheaper. And if you have to worry about cheapness all the time, then that means that you can't afford it. So please stop. I don't even know what else to say. Rest in peace to this woman, but we, somebody needs to learn a lesson from this, okay? Please understand that you don't need to do, if you got to do it cheap, then you shouldn't do it. I'll leave it at that. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please make your comment. Please like the video and I will see you all in the next one.